Hello everyone, welcome to Halo Moon Tarot. This is your weekly singles love reading for Leo. How are you guys? Hope you're all well this week. Let's see what's going on for single Leo. Leo, Leo. So I'm going to use these oracle cards for the foundation of the reading. I'm going to clarify with the tarot cards. Leo. Who's interested in you? New love prospects and new love connections. Leo, there we go. Ooh, okay. Very nice. Looks like a soulmate connection. It's going to be a friendship going to another level as well. Milk and honey at the end of the rainbow. Ooh, beautiful. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Co-creation. So this is going down a path. Two people kind of building each other up here. Co-creating. Ooh, <laughs> yin and yang. Energy coming. Oh, chop wood. And blessed. Observe. Oh, Leo, what's going on here? Building blocks. And clean up. Okay, so what I feel is actually happening. <laughs> Some of you, it definitely could be a soulmate connection going to another level. Some of you may be leaving someone behind, going off on a new path with someone more compatible. You might be telling someone to chop wood. Okay, literally. Uh, I feel there's an, yeah, there's a kind of a blessing in disguise here. So this is going to be a blessing. So this is really positive for you. Uh, I feel as though there's energy observing feelings and emotions. So pay attention to how you feel through this whole thing. Okay. I feel like that's meant for yourself, but we'll see. And we have the building. So it's somebody who doesn't really want to put any work or effort into a relationship. So some of you are just cleaning up your life. You're focusing on work, working around your home. Yeah, literally, maybe even chopping wood and you're just clearing things out here. Very nice. There's a blessing here. Okay. So I, I like that energy because you've got a blessing. So it's basically making room is what it's telling me in my head for the next person. So we have an Empress energy, the birth of something new. See, this is where you're loving yourself first. Now you're focused on work, finance, career. Now some of you, I feel as though it's an energy of healing. It's an energy of finding balance. Beautiful. Yeah, so it's about investing. So what I feel is happening is there's been this energy where you've been very patient with someone, but they haven't been invested. They haven't been investing in you the way they want. So you, I feel as though you've been investing in you. Uh, so I feel like this is an energy where you're just going off on a new path here. So I feel what's going to happen, you're not going to put all your eggs in one basket. <laughs> you're just keeping your options open here. Yeah, I can see it. Uh, you're off on a new path. You're going to explore other options as well. Yeah, you've got a, a king of cups here. This is somebody emotionally veiled mature, someone who's ready for a relationship. They're ready to cooperate and compromise. Literally, this is a blessing, okay? Whatever it is that you're releasing. What is this yin energy? Why is yin here? Ah, uh, yes, two of swords. This is about making a choice, okay, making some kind of a decision. So it's an energy of taking off the rose-colored glasses and making a choice. You may have been a little indecisive about whether you should, you know, move away, say goodbye to someone, uh, and invest in another person. So I can see you looking at that energy, okay, about investing and not putting all your eggs in one basket. You want to make sure someone's invested first before you do, because if they're not, Okay, it's about failing to recognize, failing to see. Now, this is about observing that somebody's not really putting in the work in. See, they're not pulling their weight. They're, you know, so I feel like you want someone you can build with. And that's what you're cleaning things up. Uh, and you're now focused on the future. So nice energy. So I do see six of cups. Some of you may have children. There could be children involved. Yeah, it's a blessing. You have a new opportunity, see? You may not see it coming. Okay, you may have failed to recognize something. Ooh, and then we have the hermit. Yeah, a little soul searching. See, someone shining a light, soul searching, exploring their feelings, their emotions, contemplating, uh, building something. Uh, there's that Ace of Pentacles, and we have the High Priestess. Yes, very nice. You already know everything you need to know. Trust your intuition. Yeah, you're clearing something up, clearing things out. If you have a person around you, too, where you decide, you know, like even waiting patiently, I can see, investing. 
uh, for somebody to, you know, either start something or to cooperate and compromise. But I feel it's an energy of you just um, no longer investing in someone here who is indecisive and can't make up their mind, uh, especially if you've got children, okay? Uh, you need to know, you know, you need something more decisive. But I, it's about the other half. It's about whether two people fit. Yeah, I, I think you're going to let someone go. I think it looks to me almost like the realization that someone really isn't um, right for you. Uh, because you have, you know, the Empress is the one with the power. See, look at that beautiful energy. You have a choice to make. This is your choice to make, your decision here, uh, whether to invest or not to invest. But it has to do with the milk and honey. There's something here with memories, a little reminiscing kind of energy, again, with the Six of Cups. Yeah, it's a little bit of a longing, a little bit of melancholy. Uh, but I feel as though you have this new opportunity. I think you got a King of Cups here. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, I can see this person uh, contemplating making you an offer. They already know everything they need to know. This person knows. Uh, I think this person, when they uh, come towards you, I feel they're waiting for the right opportunity. Okay, so this is a gift. This is a gift that you're going to receive. And it's also possible you have a person who sees you that way. This is someone who knows <laughs> when something is being offered. They're, it's a blessing. So it's a blessing to make a choice to move away from someone who's not invested. Oh, yeah. You've got something behind the scenes. You may not see this coming. Yeah, there's that energy of tempering the passions, emotions, pulling back, seeing things differently. Oh, yeah. This is somebody different than your usual type. That's what's going to get you to see. you got a person who's emotionally mature. That's what's going to make you realize uh, that this person you're longing for, okay, uh, that you were waiting patiently for, that something was actually off. It's when you're going to come to that realization, you see. Oh, my. Yeah, while you're waiting... <laughs> seems to be the theme yeah see look at that energy the birth of something new this is someone who may be wanting children you know they want to have a family you could be a single parent or they could or both of you uh, whatever the situation i feel this is someone who they're going to show you that they like you a lot by doing really sweet things okay and I, I feel as though it's telling you to, you know, make, I, I feel like you're going to, like, you know what, I'm, it actually almost feels too like this person uh, was invested in someone who they thought was the soulmate who actually isn't. You see, they're pulling back, they're looking at this. This is someone who didn't see what they had right in front of them, the blessing, which is yourself. Okay, Ace of Cups, so it could go that way. It actually looks for more of you. That's how it is. This is someone who's ready to go down that path to team up with their, a partner. Yeah, this is someone who will, you know, they might even just go out of their way here. <laughs> Bend over backwards just a little bit to uh, uh, make this connection. But I feel like it's that realization, something they didn't see. Oh, my goodness. We have the hermit. Who's her in hermit mode? Who is this person anyway? Let's just see. Little Aquarius energy. Yeah, this is someone who's shining a light. Spending a little time contemplating the star. Ooh, this person sees your worth and your value. They see how you're, you know, conducting yourself like the Empress. Yeah, this person's heading in your direction. Uh, they're becoming decisive here. So if somebody is getting something, they're understanding something. Uh, and I do feel this is a si uh, situation where this is someone who's letting go of someone who's not right for them and coming towards you. I feel like they're actually coming towards you. But, it, you know, it, you can flip this energy. Beautiful. Ace of Pentacles. Oh, yeah. This is someone definitely emotionally mature and available. Now, this, like, it could go in both directions because we have two empresses and we have two king of cups. So you're both going through some of things similar where you come to, you're going to come together. You're both going to realize the person that you dated before, whether it was a marriage or whatever it was, um, you're going to realize what you were actually invested in because you're going to see what true investment is here. It's an energy of failing to recognize, failing to see uh, when someone is right or not right. You see, it's an energy of wearing the rose-colored glasses. You both may have done it. 
Oh my goodness, yeah, there's that energy looking into the future. This person sees you as marriage material, but you're practical, you're sensible, you're looking into the future. You have this opportunity for a fresh new start. That cup runneth over. This is a blessing. This is a gift. Somebody may actually give you a gift too. Oh my. I, I think it's like, a, this is really a very spiritual little reading here. Let's see what this Ace of Cups is about here. Yeah, we have the King and Queen of Cups. Yeah, you want love. You definitely want love. You want emotional fulfillment. But you are, I feel, a little cautious. I feel being very sensible. Okay, kind of holding back a little bit. Uh, I do feel some of you have someone, who, you may have a person coming around who you thought was the one, your other half at one point. You may be tempted by them as well, but it's telling you to stay focused on the future. Stay grounded, practical, and be sensible. Oh, Leo. Yeah, I see an Aquarius energy, a little Virgo energy. I see this person uh, coming in decisive. Somebody's becoming more decisive as they heal and release someone. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, you got this energy. So this is someone expressing themselves. They want to start something. Uh, somebody, you got someone who wants to build. They want to cooperate, compromise. They want to cohabitate. It's definitely leading to that. So a higher vibrational energy. So you got this new person. And I feel, <laughs> yeah, I see them here. Yeah, trust your intuition. You already know everything you need to know. And I'll tell you what it is, is the person before. Things are going to become clear. Okay, uh, so I do see a lot of talk back and forth, reading between the lines, trusting your intuition. Beautiful. Things are about to speed up. Oh, yeah. Things are about to speed up here. Uh, this actually could be the one. This person's feeling this way about you. This is so interesting. Two people who thought the person they dated before was the one. Then when you meet each other, uh, everything flips. <laughs> Yeah, look at that. Yeah, coming together, building a bond here. You and another person are going to build a bond. This is a soulmate connection. There's a lot of chemistry. Some of you had a relationship with someone. There was a lot of chemistry, uh, a lot of physical attraction, but nothing else, you see. That's that energy where you're taking off the rose-colored glasses, making a decision. Somebody was, uh, um, someone's about to make a decision, you see. It's about staying focused on your feelings and recognizing how you feel when you're around someone. If it feels right, you can just be yourself. You can be comfortable. Uh, I mean, if you want to wear your pajamas all day and you don't want to brush your hair for the day, this person's okay. <laughs> they like you just the way you are. See, that's that kind of energy where two people are a good fit. So very nice. Beautiful, beautiful energy. This person's definitely uh, someone who, who will cooperate. I feel this is someone, I'm going to tell you, this is, um, <laughs> what's it, it's trying to tell me something. It's like someone who likes to cook and clean, but it's not you, it's them. Okay, so uh, there's something about that here, about the home, uh, feeling like home, um, somebody who's willing to like, you know, build, they're willing to cooperate to get this going, and they're going to express themselves, they're going to make themselves very clear, you're going to get clear communication, clear emotional feelings from this person, you see, building, see, this person's going to put a lot of effort, they're going to, you know, they want to build a relationship, um, yeah, this is someone who, I, I'm going to tell you, this person, I feel, I don't know why it's telling me this, but they like to cook, they like to clean, uh, they're at least willing to cooperate because they want this. So, very high vibrational, happy person, um, lovely. Tell me more about this person, this King of Cups energy. Now, they don't have to be a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Um, they could actually be Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra, Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. Uh, maybe even Sag and Leo. Tell me about this King of Cups. Tell me about this person. Oops. Tell me about the King of Cups. There we go. Yeah, so there you go. You have some of you are walking away. You're going to reject somebody who doesn't know what they want. 
Okay, someone who's not possibly even telling you the truth or they're not clear, you know, about what they want. Very curious energy, but still, they're not clear. So you're walking away. Uh, it's a thank you, but no thank you. The Empress is here uh, to start something new because that's what you're walking away from. You're releasing this person. I, I feel like it's them too. They're leaving something behind. Uh, they see your worth and your value. It's also an energy of someone who's done their inner work. Okay, so they've done the inner work. So they know what they want. They want to build. They've spent that time contemplating their life path, you see, observing their feelings, the things that they didn't know. They're learning something through this process. Uh, becoming clear but yeah it's definitely an energy of moving away from something uh, and moving towards emotional fulfillment but I see you you or them walking away okay to move forward so that's how it works you know uh, tell me about this Empress energy a little more on that for Leo Empress there we go yeah so it's definitely the mother of the children this could be somebody who had children with someone and it didn't work out and they thought this person was the other half they weren't because there was this energy of investment um okay yeah when you got two emperors and two king of cups here it's pretty interesting um, or you have two people who um, see this is the king of cups with a uh, uh, three of pentacles energy here some of you may have a couple people who are in that energy coming towards you you may have to make a decision you might be indecisive about who you see in your future it's telling you to get out of your head and calm ground yourself and make a choice how do you feel around these people observe how you feel when you're around them okay and make that choice if you can be yourself completely um, there's nothing intense it's just very uh, chill very relaxed you can be you then you know that that's the right person okay if you feel like you have to hold back your feelings okay or you feel like you have to temper uh, who you are for that matter then it may not be the right person it's an energy of just being yourself being able to be comfortable so I do feel like you have your eye on the prize you're looking into the future here and you're going to keep your feelings to yourself for a bit uh, until you're sure so yeah but you are speaking the truth you want the truth and nothing but the truth you want that clarity you see so yeah you're very wise your intuition here you're being very wise it's your inner knowing so you it's like you just know all right yeah it's about justice and balance whether someone's right for you so you're i, I this is pretty heavy energy uh, i'm sensing a spiritual connection between two people or just two people who are on that path or you shared a similar path hmm. yeah so there's some kind of change so it's an energy of moving on from someone who's not right because you can't be yourself uh, and you're going to cut someone out you could be just communicating this with someone where you kind of learn two people learning um about each other you know communicating about relationships and marriage connections that went wrong when you realize when someone's not right it's time to move on i think you're moving away here i just see you moving on it's time for change <laughs> yeah and if you do have a person who tries to come back around again okay and if they haven't changed you will walk away you do have someone new here so don't even fret someone sees you okay as sunny right they see you as the sun uh, they see you as you know high vibrational energy uh, someone compatible so chances are they have some fire in their chart here probably a little sag in their chart but they may not be a sagittarius okay yeah, tell me about this King of Cups up here, just to clarify. Yeah, so this is definitely someone who hasn't had a lot of success in the past. So now they're planning for success by cooperating and compromising. and they're moving away from someone they're no longer invested in, who was likely not invested in them. Uh, could have been someone who's invested in them just, you know, because they were financially stable. But we do have an Empress, the mother of the children. Okay, yeah. I feel it's just an energy of someone who, uh, I, I got to tell you, I feel, I, gotta, I hate to say it, but I almost feel like it's this empress that, uh, the mother of the children who um, was invested in someone because they were successful, uh, but there was a false victory of some sort. So it's hard to say what happened. Let's just leave it there um because it's an energy of breaking free from a situation it's an energy of planning for success to go down another path yeah 
I don't think you're going to see this coming. Uh, you're very focused on money, other things right now. <laughs> Not so much your love life in some ways, uh, but I do see you being discerning and questioning with that Empress energy. Yeah, so there is a cycle that's over here. There's a cycle that's ended. Things are about to start going in your favor, and someone sees you in a favorable light. Yeah, so you have a new opportunity for a fresh new start. This is beautiful. Uh, lovely energy. Wow. So yeah, I see a new beginning here, Leo. I see higher vibrational. I see some happiness. Um, trust your intuition, though. Okay, trust your intuition. It's going to guide you. Make sure you've cleared things out of your past. Uh, clean things up. I do feel it's about cooperating and compromising uh, to build. Okay, to build uh, yourself. So uh, I do feel it's an energy of letting go. I see this passionate new beginning with someone very attractive, vice versa, and building a foundation. Building a foundation on being open, okay? Sharing feelings, uh, everything out in the open with that sun shining. So it's very illuminating. Yeah, so it's an energy that's just letting go, spending a little time in hermit mode about the life path. It's about healing and releasing baggage. Um, I think you're just walking away from someone who kind of know what they want and they kind of don't. Uh, you have someone here who definitely does. And uh, so I see this, it's not good enough. Uh, some kind of a rejection or a thank you, but no thank you. It's also an energy of a missed opportunity. Uh, some of you may be rushing towards another person because you don't want to miss this opportunity for something new or it's a person coming towards you. Wow. Could be, you might be a little unsure at some point here, but like I say, just ask the questions, be discerning, okay? Yeah, you know, speaking your truth, making sure you get the truth. That's your inner wisdom, your inner knowing, but there's that opportunity. That's a beautiful, I think you both want this. I do, I think you're both going to want this, and there's that energy of intuition again. Trusting your intuition, you already know. Okay, so it's your it's your intuition guiding you that it's time to move away to end a, a situation with someone where you may not be compatible. Okay, um, it's just time to set yourself free. I see someone up here too who's playing the field. You could be uh, releasing someone who's playing the field. Okay. Yeah, it was just a lack of success, I feel, you know, a missed opportunity. Mm, someone here's got a little bit of an ego. Someone was ruled by their ego. Uh, something to do with success, but it, it is a forward movement. It's moving towards this positive uh, decision, this choice. Yeah, so something is over, it's finished. So it's an ener energy of breaking free, uh, a breakthrough, uh, and going through this transition. So lovely. Um, it really doesn't get any better than that, you know, when you first meet someone. Uh, the hardest part is the healing and the releasing of the baggage. Uh, seeing the truth, clearing things up, clearing out your past, um, and walking away. Moving towards, you know, happier days, happier times are ahead here. Lovely. So, it really could be anybody. I do see a Gemini. Yeah, it's an energy of doing things by the book. So it's about leaving the past in the past. See, reminiscing and uh, leaving it behind. But it's also an energy of doing things by the book. A little hierophant energy. Uh, it's an energy of learning. Learning from the past, okay? Um, and then leaving it there. Taking what you've learned and leave it. It's also an energy of uh, two people fitting within each other's lives. Being on the same page. Making sure you're on the same page lovely yeah similar lifestyle so there is an energy of deep knowing inner wisdom here being very wise again uh, it's yourself and i feel like it's this person i feel like you you know you've had some similar situations some things in common okay wow so yeah it's a loyal heart it's about two people being loyal this is what uh, you're looking for is someone who's loyal and you got someone here who may not have been loyal but it's also being loyal to your own heart being sensible about what you really want what you don't want okay yeah some of you uh, you could have children or want children you want you want someone who does um, there's something to do with that too. 
but it's also an energy of melancholy a little reminiscing about the past that's that by the book energy okay yeah it's an energy of just keeping things simple and it, you know when it's also for people who uh, the children are gone they've left the nest you know or never had children um it's an energy of melancholy and longing and things were much simpler when you're younger it becomes more complicated when you get older <laughs> It's just an, it's an acknowledgement is what I feel because the Three of Pentacles is very much an acknowledgement. Yeah, so it's an energy of someone's being a little bit lonely here, a little reminiscing, a little melancholy. Uh, but it's an, you know, it's about leaving it in the past. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's time to move forward. There's that new. <laughs> you got somebody new. Yeah, so it's about letting go of that energy. Uh, I see the truth being told, being very wise, speaking your truth. Uh, stay in your integrity and speak your truth. So, lovely. I, I think the person coming towards you is in a very similar energy. I see two loyal hearts. I see two people who are very wise, learned from their past, coming together. This is crazy energy, how much the same. And the duplicate cards, this is something you've been waiting for, but it's about the bigger picture. So you're looking at the bigger picture uh, first and foremost, asking yourself, do I see myself with this person? Uh, I feel like, yes, I feel this is someone who's just right. <laughs> Uh, this other person because I do see you moving away from someone who's not or it's just uh, somebody in your past that wasn't so you've learned from that this is how you become the emperor and the empress right so you definitely have that empress energy yeah so you know what you want and you're not settling so you know exactly what you want you have a new opportunity for things to go in your favor lovely so I do see a Sagittarius energy as well you can flip this um, you could have a Sagittarius coming towards you just trust your intuition. It's going to guide you. I do see this evolving. It could go somewhere. Okay. Uh, but I do see the need to let go of something. Yeah, someone's going to get rejected or it's just an offer that's not good enough. And it, it's just the realization uh, of acknowledging even within yourself, being true to yourself, to your own heart. Okay. Uh, recognizing when someone just isn't right. Um, and that has to do with that other half, you see, that yin energy. Um, it's about looking out for yourself first and foremost, loving yourself first. Um, you know, it's an energy of someone doing that work. You, know, you have to learn to love yourself first before you can love somebody else, you see, is what it's saying. So, But it's looking really good. I see you uh, just trust your intuition. You got someone coming. Uh, read between the lines. So... Uh, it's an energy of cleaning things up, clearing out the past. Some of you are just cleaning your house. You're kind of getting ready. It's almost as I see the house, the home, the foundation, uh, clearing up anything financial, getting ready, uh, making sure the all is clear. But I see a gift. So there's some kind of a blessing in disguise and some kind of a gift and a blessing. Uh, someone may see you that way or vice versa. I feel like it's both of you recognizing a gift that you're about to receive and being open to it lovely yeah very nice so let's grab some charms here it's just going to go in circles now there's your messages for this week so uh, this person is someone who's you know emotionally available and mature they're freeing themselves from someone putting an end to something okay or you are uh, could be a scorpio just regardless okay it's an energy of moving towards somebody better somebody who wants to build something they want to build a relationship you know there's a lot of passion there's still some room for growth between two people so this is i feel like it's a budding developing situation if it hasn't happened yet uh, and this beginning part rings true then uh, you can kind of expect this energy to start to shift because uh, there's an energy of change, okay? Just going with the flow, but trusting your intuition uh, with this blessing you're about to receive. Something was a blessing in disguise, too, to be honest, for some of you. We'll look at that. Um, so I do see a big old heart. I see there's the rebirth energy. See, it's being ready to be uh, basically reborn uh, after healing. It's time for something new. I see communication. Here's that little bird. Uh, so I do see some communication here. Actually goes this way. There we go. There. Whoops. 
So the wheel of fortune energy. So you got the four leaf clover. So there's there's just something that's going to happen. So it's like you're going to, uh, a situation's going to end and it may really throw you off balance and get you in your head. But I feel like once you meet this next person, that realization, it was a gift. It's a blessing. Uh, and some Or someone sees you that way. There's an energy of forget me not. Okay, and there's that unicorn energy pushing through, taking an opportunity when it's presented by being open, you see, and there's that fish. So it's an energy of just going with the flow, seeing what evolves, letting, don't try to control things, letting it evolve. Uh, I do feel like this is a, a connection here that's coming in that's going to, could go definitely to the next level of commitment or marriage or living together, whatever it is that you uh, believe in, you know, it's, it's between two people. I'll grab two more. So I see that strength and that abundance flowing here. And there's enjoying the fruits of the labors. There's that beautiful energy. So I do see a um, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy, financial stability between two people. I see a lot of grapes right here. I see them. They're in everything. It's about enjoying the fruits of your labors. It's beautiful. So something's about to pay off here. And uh, it's like a blessing in disguise. There's that transformation after something ending. Beautiful. Okay, where is the other ones? There they are. Let's grab some letters. Always give a reading a chance to play out. Okay, so I see a Z, a C, a Q. There's that frog taking leaks forward. Oh, pardon me. No, it's Pegasus. So oh, this is going to move fairly quickly. Air energy. There's definitely air energy here. Pardon me. Q. Like right on time. Something's going to happen. It's all about that divine timing. Okay. It's a blessing uh, that something is going to happen the way it did. It may not seem like it at first, but it's going to. And it has to do with uh, an ending. So we have Z, C, J, Q, B, and S. I'm going to grab two more, see if we can get you to form a word. Uh, an N and an E. First and last initials, a name, place you meet this person, okay? Uh, those initials, letters, words can really pertain to anything. So just give it a chance to play out uh, and see what happens because something is about to change and it has to do with justice. Okay, whether someone is just right for you or not. It's about someone coming in right, you see. There's some kind of a blessing with this Ace of Cups. This is a gift, okay. It's a gift from the universe. Like they say, a lot of people see it as the hand of God offering this cup. So, uh, but I feel like you've got a person who's going to offer you this. And I do feel there's a lot of abundance in it. I definitely feel a little earth energy involved. I don't know why. I don't think that this person... Uh, I don't think they're, they could be a Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio. I feel that's just how they're coming in, okay? Uh, this person, it's this one down here. Like, you may have an opportunity here. It may not work. You may decide to end it with that person. They may not give you the attention you deserve, okay? Uh, or they're just looking for attention. It could be that, too. So that's that's the energy you're moving away from, so... Uh, lovely energy so you're going to get something you want here you see you're going to get something you want and that's what i feel it is a wish come true but someone else isn't this other person here isn't because they're not giving you what you want you see uh, and that's why you're moving on so that's the blessing the gift that you are about to receive is what it's telling me so give it an opportunity to play out. It's hard to say. I don't like to say timing. There's way too many people watching the videos to, because uh, time is very different, very fluid. Some people are here on the reading. Other people are here. Some people are already here waiting for this to go to the next level, seeing the bigger picture between about this loyalty. Somebody here wasn't very loyal. Okay, they were only looking for attention. This next person is loyal, and you're going to see the shift. So the blessing could be that you actually see and really learn something uh, with this person. But I feel like it could go to the next level. Uh, there's a bond forming, a beautiful bond with two people who are going to lift each other up. Okay, uh, work together to build a foundation. So take care, you guys. I wish you the best, and we'll see you soon.